Got another organic mechanisms question for you to try. So we're up to number 13 now. There's the question there. So if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so make a start. So you can see I've highlighted the type of mechanism. This is nucleophilic substitution. So it's going to involve a nucleophile, an electron pair donor. So the reactions between one chloropropane, which I'm for the purpose of the mechanism, I'm drawn like this. And it's written with ethanolic sodium cyanide. Now, the important part of the ethanolic sodium cyanide is the CN minus ion. So I'll just draw that up now. Sometimes you see the minus sign above the carbon, but that's absolutely fine what I've drawn there. The other thing we need to do is put the dipole on the CCL bond. Chlorine's more electronegative than carbon, so the carbon's slightly positive and the chlorine's slightly negative. So quite a simple mechanism, this one. So we take a pair of electrons from the um, cyanide ion, so that's why we show this lone pair here, and it's going to be attracted to that carbon. So we draw a curly arrow from that lone pair on the carbon to the delta positive carbon. And that's going to break this covalent bond between the carbon and the chlorine by heterolytic fission. And it's going to generate the product and a Cl minus ion. So there's my product. Obviously, don't forget about that chloride ion. And I've also included, hasn't asked for this, but I've just put it in just for, for, for your benefit, really. Heterolytic fission, so that's whether this covalent bond here, this CCL bond, um, is broken in such a way that both of the electrons in the bond go to that same chlorine atom. 